The soil under our feet is crucial to everyday life. It influences the food you eat, the water you drink, and even the air you breathe. In this video, I'll show you how human-driven changes threaten soil health and affect us all. To combat this, we need to protect and work with the soil, not against it. Hi, I'm Matthias Rillich. I lead the Plant, Fungal and Soil Ecology Lab at Freie Universität Berlin in Germany. We're a team of scientists dedicated to studying how human actions impact the soil and its inhabitants and ecosystems. Did you know that a spoonful of soil can contain millions, sometimes even billions of organisms? Much of this life is microscopic, so we can't really see it. But we shouldn't overlook the vast diversity of life in the soil because these ecosystems are vital for our survival. Healthy soils are essential for growing our food, from corn to lettuce. Soils absorb water like a sponge and can supply this water to plant roots and other living beings in the soil. They also store carbon, which helps fight climate change. Basically, the carbon that is stored in the soil as organic carbon is not in the atmosphere as CO2. And that means less CO2 less climate warming carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And those are just a few of the things healthy soils give us. However, if we continue to stress and degrade them, we'll face severe consequences. Unfortunately, that's exactly what our societies are doing right now. We damage the delicate structure of the soil with heavy farming machinery. We pollute it with microplastics chemicals and pharmaceuticals like antibiotics. We add synthetic fertilizers containing nitrogen and phosphorus. We apply pesticides that kill not only pests but also beneficial insects and microorganisms in the soil. We cause climate change by burning fossil fuels and releasing greenhouse gases. This leads to more droughts, heavier rainfall and invasive species all affecting soils. We also cause erosion, which is a huge issue. The soil becomes unstable and gets carried away by wind or water. In summary, life gets harder for the life that thrives in the soil. Our soils face numerous stress factors that interact in complex ways. Combined, these stress factors create what we call global change. They drastically alter the environment and threaten the Earth's ability to sustain life. Maybe you've heard of the nine planetary boundaries. Soil health is directly linked to several of them. When we degrade our soils, we push these planetary boundaries and threaten the stability of the ecosystems we depend on as a human civilization. To better understand how the combined effects of global change impact the soil, we've set up a special experiment at the Rillig Lab, the Berlin Global Change Experiment. We've divided a piece of land into small plots. Then we subjected each of these squares to a different combination of stress factors. For example, we increase the temperature, change the amount of rain, or add soil pollutants such as antibiotics or plastics. We can combine up to 10 factors, which is quite new. Most experiments only deal with one or two factors at a time. How does the combination of various stress factors impact soil health? Our results show that it's not just the kind of stress factor itself, like higher temperature or the presence of chemicals or microplastics, it's the combination of several stress factors that causes the most harm. So the more stress factors a soil has to endure, the harder it gets for the ecosystem to stay healthy. But we've also got some good news. 
If we reduce the number of stress factors on our soils, we can probably make a huge difference. So what can we do to revive and protect our soils? Sustainability is key. Farmers can adopt more soil-friendly practices. They can reduce the tillage, so the upper layer of soil gets less disturbed. They can do cover cropping, which means they keep the soil covered with plants to protect and enrich it. By rotating crops and using compost, farmers can improve soil fertility and reduce the need for chemical fertilizers. An alternative is growing legumes, which are plants that live together with bacteria that can make natural nitrogen fertilizer from the nitrogen in our air. These practices help maintain soil and overall environmental health, promote biodiversity and improve resilience against climate change. Our research at the Dillig Lab helps identify the threats to soil health and it supports strategies to protect and restore the living soil. How can we work with the life in the soil instead of against it and still grow enough food for all of us? That's the big question. In our next video, we'll delve deeper into one of the stress factors of global change, microplastics. We'll explore the physical, chemical and biological effects on soil. Some of the findings might surprise you. What do you think is the most pressing threat to soil health? And what steps have you already taken to improve soil health? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos.